We're taking a little bit of a deeper dive into the Peruvian alien attack. Dude, what really happened here? Was it a guy in a suit? But look at the neck, dude. How do you fake that? Apparently, the locals shot at this thing, and it was impervious to bullets. This does not look like a guy in a suit. I'm going to be brutally honest. Welcome to the channel, everybody. In this video, we're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into the Peruvian alien attack. So this was going pretty mainstream. I was seeing pretty big, reputable names posting stories about it like this. As you can see, we're on Yahoo. It is Yahoo Entertainment, but still, it's Yahoo. So we're going to take a look a little bit closer because I'm seeing that it was a hoax, but the mainstream media was saying that it was real at first. And I guess it was uh, some gold miners or something dressed up as aliens, but... Let's take a look at some of what they're saying. Let's check out the video footage of these alleged aliens. So here's another story on Jerusalem Post, the Jerusalem Post. I haven't really heard of this organization, but we'll take a look at what they have to say. As you can see here, they are saying that a 15 year old girl was sent to the hospital. So let's just take a deeper dive into it. A lot of people are saying it's a hoax. The moral of the story is that now, you know, alien attacks are mainstream in the bigger, you know, mainstream news. I don't know how to word it other than calling it mainstream. So the community members have described the aliens, which they have taken to calling Los Pelcarcas. I don't know. I'm so sorry to all the Spanish speaking audience that I absolutely butchered that or Peruvian speaking, I should say, which translates in English to the face peelers a massive seven foot tall being. They are also apparently impervious to the villagers defenses. The aliens are armored. They shot one and nothing happened. So this is a direct quote. I shot one of them twice and he wasn't injured. He rose and disappeared, he said. So here is allegedly the video proof. Oh wow, yeah, look at it right there. Okay, I mean, look, let's be honest. If I saw that in real life, I'd be scared. I'm not even going to pretend. Even if it was someone in a costume, dude, there ain't no way you're seeing something like that. I mean, even if you had a 2A on you and you start, you know, using the 2A to, you know, spray some lead at it, that's still a reaction of maybe not necessarily fear, but look at all the Peruvian villagers. They're all like standing around. They have no clue what's going on. So I guess they called the army in. I would play the audio here, but the YouTube, look, the common fair, whatever it's called, sometimes that stuff can get a little tricky, but I have had no issues with copyright as long as we do not play the audio from the video and I continue to talk over the clips, then that's a surefire way to never have an issue. So, all right, so here, oh, gunfire apparently. Here is videos of them. I'm going to keep that muted anyway, but you can hear that they're like scared. They're like, oh, no, 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 they're like yelling. Okay, so as you can see all the text popping up, I guess that's the English translations for what they're saying. I don't know. This video is kind of whack here. Do they not show it? So all we got was those super blurry, not super good clips. All right, is, are, are they going to show this or what's going on here? I'm not trying to claim that this is real. Like I said, I'm making this video. We're taking a little bit of a deeper dive into the Peruvian alien attack. The only reason I'm looking into this at all is because there was video proof. So that's why we're looking at it. I don't know. Look, this is just video clips of like the aftermath, I guess. Okay, so now we got eyewitness testimony. Look at this dog, dude. What's up? All right. So, oh, okay. So here we got another like little slow-mo clip here of the actual alien. All right, let's take a good hard look at this thing. So, I mean, was that an eyeball? Like I said, man, I'm not even going to try to be some macho man. If I see anything like that, I'm definitely going to be nervous. I'm definitely going to be scared. So I, d I don't know. I just, I would like to see an alien, like I've said before, but until I do see one, even if it's a guy in a suit, I have never seen anything out of the ordinary. You're telling me all we got is a two second clip. This one right here. All right, let's play this clip in like ultra mega super slow-mo. Let's do playback speed, quarter speed. All right, let's run this back. Let's really take a closer look at this thing. So right there, okay. Like, I don't know. See how the neck looks super skinny? I don't know. Like, this is why I wanted to take a closer look at it because 
I'm seeing in the mainstream media, I'm seeing like a few, this is all a few days old. As you can see, this was posted two hours ago, but the main story, all the big headlines, they came out maybe what, four or five days ago, something like that. And all the mainstream media was like, Peruvian alien attack, Peruvian alien attack, video footage, proof is here, blah, blah, blah. So I was, I just brushed it off for a couple days. I'm like, I'll dig into that later. But I waited a couple days. I didn't film about it. I didn't do a reaction video or anything. And a couple days later, now I'm seeing headlines. Oh, Peruvian alien attack was actually gold miners like pranking the villagers. It's a hoax, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I'm like, dude, what really happened here? Was it a guy in a suit? But look at the neck, dude. How do you fake that? How do you fake a little skinny little, I don't know, is this CGI? Look at the skinny little arms and the skinny chest. Ah, oh, man. See, it's just difficult because like, why do we not have super good footage of an alien yet? That's what is kinda, it's kinda sus to be brutally honest with you. So here's that other clip here. As you can see, there's an eyeball right there but no one has got to the bottom of it yet. See, look at this, Seven Foot Predator News Nation UFO hoax. So let's go back to this clip real quick because this one's pretty convincing, even though, is it a hoax? Like, all right, I don't really know. So this guy's saying that apparently the local villagers have been hearing these creatures and seeing these creatures for a while. So maybe the gold miners, you know, they heard these urban legends and they wanted to prank the villagers, but let's just come up with a hypothetical situation here. What if this actually is real and now that UFOs, aliens are cool to talk about in the social media, mainstream media, whatever you want to call it. What if this is like some kind of psyop? Look, I'm not saying that this footage is real, but I'm not also right off the rip saying that it's fake because they didn't catch the gold miners or did they? These people saw what actually happened apparently. So they're saying that they saw some bright flash in the sky, something crazy like that. They felt the flash as you can see very strong flash from the sky going downward. So they were super scared. The light followed us for about 900 feet to our house. Okay, that's a little sus, no doubt. So pretty much what I'm gathering from this situation. So apparently they didn't catch these illegal gold miners. So that's what the mainstream media cover up, so to speak. I don't know what else to call it because a couple days ago, I'm seeing headlines, alien attack, Peruvian alien village attack. And then a couple days later, I'm seeing headlines that Peruvian village attack is a hoax. It was gold miners in costumes, blah, blah, blah. So they didn't actually catch any of these illegal gold miners. They didn't catch the creature. They have no proof that it was the gold miners. They're just saying that. because. And then they show evidence right here, as you can see. They're showing, they have the police here that have these confiscated gold bars or whatever, but there's nothing at all that says that they caught the people doing it. They caught the creature itself. Apparently the locals shot at this thing and it was impervious to bullets. So I don't know, man. Like I said, I don't know if this is a hoax. I don't know if this is real, but here's the footage right here. I'm looking at it. It's creepy. There is no denying that this footage is Look at this thing, dude. I don't know, man. It's definitely freaky, but I could see I could see it being a hoax, let's be honest. I could see it being real too. I don't know. Comment below if you guys have any more links or articles or whatever. Please comment below. Please drop other videos. Please drop some articles in the comments below. What do you guys think? Is this a hoax? Is this real? Or is there not enough evidence to jump to either conclusion? So, I don't know, man. This does not look like a guy in a suit. I'm going to be brutally honest. I don't know what to believe right now just because there's so many theories going around and it's the cartels and all this. Like, you know what I mean? There's just so much mumbo jumbo. Are we going to be seeing more of this? Is the mainstream media going to continue to post stories of alien invasions, alien attacks? I mean, this is pretty decent footage, dude. I mean, for nighttime filmed on a cell phone, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's pretty decent quality footage of something. I don't know if it's a guy in a suit. They, Some of these people were theorizing that it's a drone with a, a costume on it. But dude, oh man, this is just a super creepy video, fake or not. 
Like, what really gets me is the neck, dude. No human can fake a long, thin neck like that. So, I don't know. I'm fully expecting to see more of these alien attack, alien invasions in the mainstream news. We have to keep questioning it because are these now going to be false flag events, so to speak? Are they going to be, you know, pumping these stories into the mainstream media to kind of condition us to accept the fact that there's going to be alien invasions, alien attacks. It's really hard to say, but I don't know. I'm just waiting for the big one. At some point, I bet within the next couple years, maybe three, four years, whatever, or sooner, I feel like there's going to be another mass UFO sighting, kind of like the Phoenix Lights, but over like some huge city, there's going to be super high quality video proof, but Will it be a true ET UFO or is it going to be the Raytheon, you know, Skunk Works Lockheed UFO? Which one's it going to be? No one's going to know. But uh, like I said, I'm willing to dig into these stories. But this, the Peruvian alien attack, in my opinion, has no concrete conclusion. Because if it was these illegal gold miners, why did, why is there no proof? Why did they not catch anybody? Why is there no body? Where's the being? You know what I mean? Like, there's not enough concrete evidence for me to say that it's real or to say that it's a hoax. So I'm going to remain 50-50 on this particular incident. But as you can see, this is all new stuff. This is posted two hours ago. So the Peruvian alien attack thing is definitely something to keep on your radar. But you also have to keep your bullshit detector on. Because like I said, I am in the camp that is going to believe that we are going to start seeing more and more of these alien attack, alien invasion, super good quality footage of an alien that is spotted. We don't know what the main goal or the bigger agenda is here because they shot at this thing. No one got hurt or whatever, but they saw lights coming out of the sky. I could totally see... I could see three different scenarios, as sad as that sounds in the world we live in today. I can see three different conclusions for this situation here. A, it actually is a hoax. It was the Peruvian gold, illegal gold miners trying to scare the villagers out of the area so that they can continue mining illegally, right? That's theory A. Theory B is that it could be a real ET. It could be a straight up alien, a real alien from who knows where, galaxy, yada, 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 light years away. And... Who knows what they're doing? Who knows what they're looking for? Who knows why they're in Peru? Whatever. That's theory B, is that it's a real alien. Theory C, we've already talked about on this channel, um, you know, the government, allegedly the greys, right? The government has man-made aliens that look super real. So is it a U.S. government fake alien? Who knows? That's why... I'm not coming to any solid conclusions, but I would like to hear what you guys are thinking in the comments. Does anyone believe that this is real? Do you think that it's a hoax? Do you think that it is a man-made U.S. government secret alien psyop type situation? Or is it a fake alien and they're using it as a psyop to kind of, you know, they want to program us slowly to believe that aliens are real, aliens are here, but in all actuality, it's the government fake aliens. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not jumping to any conclusions right now, but I will keep my eye on this story if any new information pops up. I know it's a little bit old news. It's three, four, five days old or whatever, but it's still interesting. It's definitely something that I'm interested in enough to actually look into it. I mean, the video is pretty... I'm not going to say it's convincing because this could be CGI for all we know, but the video is absolutely creepy. It's pretty terrifying nonetheless. Look at this creature, man. Even if this is a dude in a suit, that is a really scary suit. Let's be honest. That, Like I said, if you saw that in the woods and you had no idea what it was, dude, you don't know what this thing is. Look at this slender looking thing, dude, seven feet tall. Super creepy either way. Like I said, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. With all that being said, thank you for watching. Peace out.